Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday morning and I am in the kitchen to deconstruct this um, hoagie sandwich. I'm going to call it a po' boy. I mean, you know, I grew up in the South and living in New Orleans. They're po' boys to me. It's very hard for me to call it a sub or a hoagie or a hero. It's just not that to me. So I'm going to deconstruct this po' boy and see how many meals I can get out of it. So for breakfast, I am going to have a ham, eggs, and cheese biscuits. I have my egg ready to scramble and I'm going to see how much ham I can get off of this po' boy. So let's get started. I apologize for making everybody so darn hungry. <laughs> Last night, I think everybody I had to uh, get up and get something to eat or call and order them a, a po' boy sandwich or something. So I'm going to open up this can of grains, but I'm going to save all but two of them. So I will save the rest of them in this tin foil because I'm going to use, use the other biscuits for something else. I don't need eight big ham and cheese ham, egg, and cheese biscuits. Okay, so my doctor called me already this morning. He uh, got the results back from the blood work. Of course, everything that is supposed to be high is low, and everything that is supposed to be low is high. So the thyroid is definitely still low. So he has uh, adjusted my medication and he's going to be sending over the prescription for the, uh, the Synthroid, the nine grand Synthroid for me. Uh, my vitamin D is very low. He's going to call in a prescription for a vitamin D tablet to take once a week. Y'all will have to let me know if you, if you presently take that and if you feel better after being on it. I really would just love to get vitamin D naturally, but I just haven't taken the time to go sit out in the sun and, and absorb it. So I'm going to save these biscuits for something else. Uh, what else? Um, my cholesterol is high, which I already knew that, and my sugar was a little high, not much. He just said, um, I think he said it was 101. What is it supposed to be, 100, I think? I'll have to ask my daughter. So he just told me to lose some weight and to adjust my diet, cut back on carbs. So I'll do that. I can definitely do that. So let's go ahead and deconstruct this po' boy and see what, um, what I can do with all of this meat that's on here. This dear little... <laughs> A whole ton of ham on here. Now this is the other half that I didn't eat. I finally did. I sat there for so long eating it and making the video. I really needed to get on the road and head home, which I did. So I did just kind of nibble on the other half until I finally finished it. So let's see, for two ham biscuits, I'm just going to warm up the ham a little bit and my skillet with some butter, and then I will scramble an egg, and then put some mozzarella cheese on it and have me two ham, egg, and cheese sandwiches for breakfast. So I will save the rest of it and figure out some way to get another meal out of this. Y'all, it would be worth the drive to go, go back over there and, and buy another one of these. Okay, so let me just kinda Warm up the ham a little bit. And then I will scramble my eggs in here. You know, when I ordered this, I went to the cooler. It's just a very, very small deli. I mean, they have the, the glass case. I was going to film some of it. They have the glass case with all of the Italian sausages and everything in it. And then they have some already made salad, antipasta. So I went over to the cooler and got the Diet Coke. 
And then I was um, actually looking for a bag of just regular wise potato chips, with, but they didn't have those, so I got the kettle ones. And then I walked back up to the register, and the guy that had taken my order handed me the sandwich. I mean, he made that sandwich in, in less than three minutes. It was amazing. So I, I didn't want to go back and start filming, so I just didn't bother to film. But uh, it was very, a very tiny space. Okay, so I've just kind of browned my ham slices. I think by the time I get my eggs scrambled and everything that the, um, the biscuits should be ready. Y'all, Dort used to make something she called red-eye gravy. Y'all know she wouldn't let me in the kitchen to watch her cook or for her to teach me how to cook or anything, so I have no idea how she made it. I have seen some recipes on YouTube where people even use coffee. But I think Mama just made it from the ham drippings. And I, I don't know what she added to it. I just, like I said, she wouldn't let me in the kitchen with her, so I have no idea. So I just have one egg here and added a little bit of milk to it and just beat it. I'm just going to have a scrambled egg on my biscuit. And then I still have the mozzarella left over from the food pantry haul that I did. Okay, so here's my egg. I have three more minutes on the clock for the biscuits. I'm not going to put butter on the biscuits. I, I actually like mayonnaise on my breakfast sandwiches. So here's the ham from the po' boy and my egg and just waiting on the biscuits now. Have y'all ever made um? Pizza crust with canned biscuits. I'm gonna look for a recipe on YouTube. I mean, I, I don't imagine you have to have a recipe. You just kind of roll it out or spread it out and <laughs> and make a little pizza crust out of it. So maybe I can do that and make a ham and onion or a ham and pineapple pizza. And and there's also a piece of uh, pepperoni meat on this sub. So I may do some, do something like that for dinner. Okay, so the biscuits are ready. Let me put a little mayo on them. Ooh, they're hot. I know some people probably don't like the flavor of canned biscuits, but I actually like them. And I love those little canned um, cinnamon rolls, too. Oh, they are so good. My only complaint with those is that they don't give you enough icing. I usually always have confectioner's sugar in my pantry, so I just make a little extra icing to go with it. I think anything made by Pillsbury is a great product. Okay, so I decided to melt my mozzarella cheese in my skillet back here. I don't want to put cold cheese on my ham and egg and cheese biscuit. on this side, half the egg over here. It's cold today, it's down to 61 and hasn't even moved up much. Okay, add this, cut it in half also. So there my ham, egg, and cheese um, biscuits for my breakfast. 
I know y'all are getting tired of looking at my old grandma blue Chanel robe. <laughs> uh, I had to run in Macy's the other day and buy a bra, and I did look for a robe in there, but they didn't have what I want. So probably, this one probably came from Walmart. I've had it at least 10 years. It's getting worn out. It's getting comfortable. <laughs> That's what it is. So let me go ahead and taste these. Here they are. Mmm. Mmm. This deserves a thumbs up. It's a winner. So this is meal number two out of the po' boy sandwich. Let me see if I can think of some other way to use some more of the ham. So let me go finish my coffee and eat my breakfast, and um, I will see y'all in the next video. Hopefully I'll have some clothes on by then. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here or just passing through, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. You will be loved and accepted here.